Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're finally back with another video. Now I know it's been about a year or so since I uploaded on this channel, and uh, that's been because I've been moving around and stuff's been hectic. Um, so we've been, I haven't been able to upload anything. Um, but now we're finally settled down after moving a few times. We have our computer set up and mic and camera and stuff. Uh, as you can see, we have a new mic and we also have a new camera, so the quality should improve and hopefully the upload should be somewhat more regular. We'll see. Um, busy with the other stuff as well, but we'll try and make it more regular. Anyway, we're reacting to uh, the newest ERB today that came out like three months ago. I haven't watched this yet because I've been too busy, but we're going to watch it today. Lara Croft vs Indiana Jones, two pretty popular characters from both their movies and games. I've watched all the Lara Croft movies, I'm pretty sure, and uh, I've obviously played all the games. Uh, and Indiana Jones, I've watched the movies, but I haven't played any of the games. Anyway, if you miss anything, let me know in the comments down below. Let's get right into this. Hopefully, it's a banger. Let's go. Well, here we go. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Makes sense, I guess. This actor is actually pretty pretty close. They're clearly going for the video game version of Lara Croft. Not the movie version, because the movie version is a little bit different. Uh, then again, it does look kind of look like the new one from the new movies. Uh, it's definitely not no Angelina Jolie, I'll tell you that for sure. Anyway. Let's get this battle cracked and I'll leave you like... Okay, the, the accent already. It's close, but it's not like on point. It's, it's pretty good, considering, you know... Obviously not actors, but uh, the voices, the a accents, close enough. Oh, he's like the reboot. Okay, this is part of uh, making fun of the reboots. Here we go. Let's get this battle cracked, and I'll leave you like a reboot. Flattened he used to be the queen. <laughs> True. The reboot's not, not very good. I didn't like it. Um, the movie, I assume he's talking about, because the games are actually really good. The movie's awful. Not awful, but not great. Anyway, uh, the crack in lines obviously reference to whipping. Peanut booby trapping. What happened? You got too woke to be fun. Now my Indiana con. Was it woke? I don't remember. It's been so long since I watched that movie. Uh, I guess it was woke. I don't know. I don't want none. Too many voices inside you. You burn through women quicker than I do. I think you should have dropped Hollywood as an option. When even Angelina gave you up for adoption. But Obviously, a reference to Angelina Jolie and how she played Lara Croft in the old Tomb Raider movies, and also that she adopts a lot of children. That's a funny joke. I was waiting for it, anyway. Delina gave you up for adoption. Let's cut to the chase. Oh, wait, he died. I guess you couldn't tap that. <laughs> Good. Oh. A reference to quick time events, I would assume. I, I guess you couldn't tap the addicts and tie on the bandicoot. True. Your family's playing in ashes, kid. You got a tragic history of a crash. Puzzle I'm trying to. Okay, that was clearly a Crash Bandicoot reference. I love Crash Bandicoot. Beach, figuring out why you're dressed for the beach. I've seen more class than the kids that teach. You can rise all you want. Now I'm still out of reach. So go grab your relics and rot. Okay. You verse me, a sword verse God. Honey, just the first four notes okay. of my theme exceed everything you've done. Dr. Jones, you're not, not, not a bad first verse. I feel like I missed a few things in there, but there was like a Crash Bandicoot reference um, and a lot of other references to other things. How he's better than her, Angelina Jolie, and all that other stuff. Pretty good first verse. Let's see what the chick's coming in. She's, she's, she's got the British accent, which is good. Everything you've done. Dr. Jones, you're no rival. You've been getting owned since. Give me the whip, throw me the idol. Indiana okay. Condor, for heaven's sake. You'd shit those dickies at a garter snake. You stole your famous other daddy jacket in Stetson from the cold dead hands of Charlton Heston. Some ladies mistake you for... <laughs> okay. A Heston jab, for some reason. For sure. Some ladies mistake you for brave and hunky, but you're such a tough to date, you could kill a little monkey. Marion is 15 when he raided her phone. That's no time for love, Dr. Jones. This is one temple that you'll. I think that's a reference to the song Dr. Jones by. Oh, who sings that? Uh, same people sing Barbie Girl, I believe, maybe. Aqua? I don't remember. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm pretty sure that's a reference to the song Dr. Jones. Anyway. Dr. Jones, this is one temple that you'll never be exploring. You're not John Williams, so you ain't 
story. Three decades in the game and my okay. fans still adore me. You try. Okay, now that's ref that's definitely a reference to the new games. The alien skulls and chose poorly. Your whole story got blown up on a sitcom. There's a big bang you can't hide in the fridge from. Hang up the. Uh, reference to the episode where they mentioned Indiana Jones and Big Bang Theory, a bloody awful show. If you watch Big Bang Theory without any like the dubbing or the clap, the laugh mode, it's such a bloody awful show. Oh man, it's so bad. Anyway, tangents. Wait before you crack a hip, I think even Mike wants you to quit. Just do it. I kill dinosaurs for fun. What's another old geezer? I'll lock us battle up like Winston in the freezer. Dinosaurs belong. Okay, now I might be wrong about this, but it feels like that was a pretty weak verse compared to his first verse. So I do think Ian Jones is winning, but I probably missed something that. So you let me know in the comments down below. But I'm pretty sure I, I didn't miss anything too crazy. So I think Ian Jones is winning at this point. I'm in a museum. I've been served a full course meal of chilled Indian voodoo, and they don't even kill as many animals as you do. You're corrupting the youth. They should be outside, not trying to unload the barrels on your thighs. No matter. <laughs> Uh, is that a reference to Tomb Raider Naked Glitch in PS1 game? Probably not. It's by reference to something else, but it could be. Unlocking the, you know, the barrels on your thighs. Oh, yeah, no. I think it is a reference because it's a reference to how her character model looked weird, but people still wanted to find a naked glitch or some shit in the first game, which is bloody hilarious. be outside not trying to unload the barrels on your thighs you might have ditched those pistols akimbo but you're still the same rich back flipping bimbo a rap and the treasure map they're catastrophe stuff in your knapsack with innocent casualties square kind of true though she's a rich kid and she does kill innocent people all the time never really thought about that actually uh, Square Enix. Okay. Sack with innocent casualties. Square Enix didn't watch anymore. That's why they Square. dropped you like a J in the floor. When they designed your core, they ripped my style. Okay. And jiggled in a bit of girl's polygon wild. You took <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's definitely a reference to the nudity thing in uh, the first game. That's actually very funny. That's a really funny line. I'm going to listen to that again. That's actually really interesting. My style and jiggled in a bit of girl's polygon wild. You took 3D to uncharted territory. Now you're just in uncharted territory. Overshadowed by dr true. So he's like, that's actually a really good flip. So he's saying that he bought 3D games into uncharted territory, and now you're in an uncharted territory, like the game's uncharted, and they're better. So it's like that's that's actually quite the roast. Uncharted is a great franchise of games. It's territory overshadowed by Drake. Like no way, somebody needs to make a tour. Like, oh man, there's this some great flips. So Drake, Lil Wayne, obviously the uh, rappers, I guess. Drake is a rapper. You know, anyway, he's more of like a pop star with that raps occasionally. Anyway, um, but yeah, so overshadowed by Drake from Uncharted, obviously, and then Drake overshadows Lil Wayne. Good double right there. Interesting. Okay. If you want a top game, stick to sorry. That verse was worse than your crap on Atari. Oh, for sure, the explorer thinks he's. There's an Indiana get, get Jones game on Atari. I gotta check this out after this video. What the hell? It's tough. You must have gotten dragged behind too many trucks. So strap some blocks on short rounds and pop the brakes. The only overshadowed thing is that face. I'm whooping you so bad I should get flagged okay. for cheating. Like Miller Ram with a heart, and he's taking a beating. Oh, I'm the first wet dream gamers ever okay. had. You're a Halloween costume for out of shape dads. Oops. True. I have at least seen one out, out of shape dad wear an Indiana Jones costume. That is definitely true. And the wet dream thing, probably the case. For sure. My bad. Your dad was never present. At best, the affection you got was sloppy seconds. Ew. You ditched your sidekick. Never met your own kid. Because his mum cut you off like a rope bridge. You're a dog, Indiana. That's facts. The only thing you're loyal to is a hat. No cap. Your face straight melted and you're Okay. Really, no cap. What are we in 2018? No cap. I think she loses just for that bar. No cap. Jesus Christ. That's cringe. That's actual fucking cringe. I get I get the reference, obviously, because he wears a hat. No cap. I get, I get it, but it's just cringe. The hat, no cap. Your face straight melted and you lost that smolder. So make like a boulder and roll your ass over. Because Junior, the baby boomer, beating me of rapping. That's like my nude code. Never gonna happen. Oh, wow. Okay, again, another reference to the nude code. Um... Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna let this play all the way out. Holster, Yoda song, Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, there's some stuff to do with. Oh, uh, that's the Rage Out of Legends. Okay, I'm not gonna watch Swanship. Uh, anyway, that was a pretty decent battle, I think. Um, if my opinion was Indiana Jones clearly won that with some r great doubles and some really good references and some really good jokes about her being worse than Uncharted, which is true. Um, so, yeah, I think Indiana Jones won. Let me guys know if you disagree in the comments down below. You probably will. Um, I probably missed a lot of things because. Again, I'm not super versed on it, and I'm a little bit out of practice with these reaction videos. So, uh, again, sorry for pausing so much. I'll probably get like five or six comments about that. Doesn't matter. Um, I will try to pause less in the future. It's just I'm a little bit rusty. Anyway, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.